was I nominated to be the distraction? Because you're very distracting. Now go. Stephanie and Harper are the new couple on the CW TV show Gotham Knights. It's up to its 11th episode and I've been keeping my eye on it for a little bit because there has been some teasing of Stephanie and Harper but we finally have a kiss. They're finally canon and I just need to talk about them because I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> We start out as enemies to lovers. I didn't go to some fancy private school, but that does not make you smarter than me. Oh, I love enemies to lovers. Let me tell you though, the ship has a lot of tropes and I'm enjoying it. And I would love for them to dive into them a little bit more. But yeah, so we've got a group of kids all under suspicion and uh, suspected of murdering Batman. Oh. Yep, that's the universe that we're in. <laughs> We got a group of misfits. They're on the run from the authority because they're wanted for the murder of Batman, which they didn't do. One of them was the adopted son of Batman and they're trying to clear their name and also do right in the city and you know, all that good stuff. Stephanie um, comes from a very privileged family, very rich family. She goes to a private school. She's got all the, the things going for her, right? She's, uh, she's got the pretty boyfriend all that sort of stuff. And Harper is like sort of on the other end of the spectrum. And it starts off really rocky because Harper really resents Stephanie for her lifestyle, thinking that she has like the perfect life. Because in another life I would be her. What? I am just as smart and just as capable as her. But she got born into a better zip code and has everything I ever wanted. And every time I look at her, I see what I could have been just staring back at me. But of course, you know, there is a, a bit more to Stephanie's background that we get into. So they do start off very, very rocky. I suppose you have a better idea? Yeah, not doing your idea. But the, uh, the sharper? Sorry, sharper? What? Harfany? That's the, the, the ship name, sharper. <laughs> the sharper captain is Cullen, um, who is... Harper's brother, who by the way is trans and I absolutely love him. And I just, this show is like queer and I love it. Anyway, so he's like the full on captain of this ship. I'm not gonna lie. So he takes the time to get to know Stephanie. Her life definitely isn't perfect. Get to know her. Don't judge her the way others judge us. And you know, they do start bonding a little bit, mostly over violence. You know, we've got Stephanie saving, um, Harper's brother Colin from some bad guys and then we have Stephanie helping Harper with a bullet wound. Worst case scenario it leaves a very sexy scar. There's just a lot of gazing which I love <laughs> but we've also got this conflict going on because the main dude I don't even know is it Turner I think his name is Turner I don't know the main guy Batman's son <laughs> I should know his name, but I don't care about him. He's got a thing for Stephanie. Of course, everyone's got a thing for Stephanie, duh. So <laughs> that that is the sort of thing lingering in the background. And it's kind of like, they kind of lead up to it throughout this, they kind of tease it. It's kind of like a straight bait, which I, you know, kind of like. So they got that playing in the background. And also Cullen is like- But she is your type. My type. You only ever fall for himbos or straight girls. People you don't take seriously and people who won't love you back. But as we find out, Stephanie is not straight. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm jumping ahead. <laughs> Turn out the guy kisses Stephanie and Stephanie's like, mm -mm. You're my best friend. I don't know. I just, I thought that if this did happen that I would feel, I don't know, something. And she says that, you know, even with her boyfriend, it doesn't feel like anything. That can be a sign. So that was sort of like the first indication that we were gonna get something else with Stephanie and Harper. Although, you know, we've, it's been leading up to it the whole season. So yeah, she uh, she's not into kissing boys, which is good to know. But Harper does sort of run into them when they're sort of in a sort of close intimate moment and she gets like really, really jealous. That leads into like the latest episode. Oh, it's so good, this latest episode. So like I mentioned, Stephanie's got a bit of a, you know, tough background that we don't know about. Harper, while trying to find Stephanie, sees the reality of her life in this fight that she's having with her mom, which ends with Stephanie's mom hitting her. And that's when Harper steps in and it's like, hell no. She does not deserve that. And you do not deserve her. And we have this really like intense sweet moment between the two. And then they're like inseparable, okay? They're, gonna after, they're going after looking for Turner because 
Everyone's after him, I don't care. They're in this club and then cops show up. So we hide in plain sight. And we have sort of like an almost like fake dating situation for this one scene, which, oh my God, I love the, a fake dating trope. I just love it so much. You didn't even know the cops are here because you're too busy looking at me. And it's a legit, two minute long dance sequence of just them. Like there's no cuts, it's just them. And it's so good. <laughs> the song, the music, their chemistry, it's just gold. It is gold. But jump to the end of the episode, you know, we have this uh, intimate moment between the two uh, talking about their feelings and Harper's like, you know. What does Stephanie Brown want? And, uh, Stephanie kisses Harper and there's this moment of she's like, oh, that's what it's supposed to feel like. Oh, I, <laughs> can you tell I'm obsessed with these two? <laughs> and that's when we leave off Stephanie and Harper. And I am like obsessed. Like I said, I am, I'm so into it. It's so cheesy in the best way possible in all the ways that you want it to be cheesy and fun and lighthearted and, and serious. It's just, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with this, this couple. So I would definitely recommend you guys checking out Gotham Knights if you haven't yet. Um, and get on board this ship and fangirl with me, please. <laughs> but if you would like to see me rant and rave and, and freak out about <laughs> the reality show, The Ultimatum Queer Love, check out this video here. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.